How's it going, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching ILL Week 9. So we are a little bit behind on the uploads here. I believe that the playoffs began this week for Season 4, so um, we need to get these two uploads out there. So we've got Week 9, and then we have Week... Week 10. And, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting down the stretch here. So, week 9, we're up against Isaiah. So, Isaiah is the coach of the Minnesota, the Minnesota Munchasses. There we go. And his record is actually not very good. I was a little bit saddened when I saw his record. I think it was, like, one win and... Eight losses, I would imagine. Something like that. So, yeah, not very good. Not very good. I, I agree with you. So, how do we prepare for this? We got ourselves, Berlinager X here, uh, the Charizard, a Dragon Dance in Zygarde, an Offensive Forges, a Mixed Electivire, that's Generago, and then a Defensive Claydol, and a Choice Scarf Primate to back it up. For my opponent here, we see Cresselia. And that's a Pokemon that I just hate facing altogether. But he also has, like, a Moongus, and to a lesser extent, his Mega, and that's Mega Organo. So, three very bulky things. The only offensive threat is Talonflame out of all the Pokemon that he has for this matchup. So it's a little bit kind of, it's really not that threatening, I would say at the end, but just trying to deal with like Cresselia and Mega Organo, those are gonna be a pain. We do also see Aloma Mola, and of course Aloma Mola is a water type. It has a lot of HP, but I also have Electivire, so even though it's really bulky, Electivire should just take it out in like a few hits or something. Um, if I could get up to a couple of Calm Minds with Forges here, then I can pretty much one hit KO or maybe two hit KO everything that he has. So that's going to be a huge factor when going into this battle. So let's go ahead and play this thing. Uh, if you all enjoy this, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. I'll always appreciate the support, you guys. That's, that's really the best thing you can give me there. So, um, he's going to start out with Substrika. And I'm going to start out with Berlinager. I notice I can just Mega Evolve and go for a Fire Punch. If he has Thunder Wave, that would be extremely bad news bears. But he has Pursuit. I'm not sure why he went for that move. Uh, I was just going to stay in and go for a Fire Punch. So Strika is really frail. That's kind of why it did that much damage. And uh, he goes for Wild Charge. It's not very effective. I'm sorry, Zipstrika, and we're going to finish you off. So that's an easy KO to get there. Um, his next Pokemon is Cresselia. Now, he could call mine here, knowing that a Fire Punch wouldn't do very much. Wow, that was such a great sentence, right? Uh, but we're gonna go with Barclay here, who takes really nothing from Cresselia. Like, even a super effective move won't do the trick. So we're gonna stay in here, set up some stealth fast. He shows me Energy Ball, and I... some For some reason, I thought Energy Ball was stronger than Shadow Ball. That's kind of weird. But hey, we're going to make it miserable for Cresselia. We force it out, and he goes into a Moongus. I take this opportunity to double switch. I go into Zygarde. I'm like, oh crap, because I know I cannot KO a Moongus in one shot with Outrage. And I haven't set up yet, so expecting a Spore. The only thing I need to put to sleep at this point in the match is actually Barclay. So we're going to use you for Death Fogger. Pretty much, and Sleep Fogger too. So, Barclay, thank you very much for your 
sacrifice there. Now we can switch out and go into Burninator as the Charizard once again expecting a grass type move in the form of Giga Drain. Which is nice to see there with the light screen up. I don't take any damage. Okay, I took 4 damage. But seriously though, that's like no damage. So I expected him to switch out into Loma Mola. That's why I went for a Dragon Claw instead of going for the Fire type move. Like he was predicting it looked like. Can we see just- oh man, Aloma Mola is so gosh darn bulky. Um, I go into Generago expecting maybe a Scald, and he shows me Toxic, which is worse. Uh, I would rather get a burn from a Scald than getting Toxic from Aloma Mola. I was like, does he have Protect? Because if he has Protect, he would show to me here. But he switches out and goes into a Moongus, and uh, he obviously predicted the um, Thunderbolt, so that was a good play by him, but that means I can show him my coverage option, which is Fire Blast. No, it's Flamethrower. It would be cool if Electric Fire learned Fire Blast. That would be overkill though. But Flamethrower, that's not going to do as much as I thought it would, and then he shows me uh, Venom Shock, which doubles in power when you're poisoned. So, that's a nice strategy there. My light screen runs off. That's been very useful lately. He switches out again, and I expected him to switch out, so I go with a Volt Switch. Let's get out of there. Now we're going to use Rosa the Florges, and guys, this Pokemon right here is going to be pretty much the nightmare for Isaiah. So, we're going to stay in set up a Calm Mind, or we can go for a Moonblast. Sure, why not? Let's go lower his special attack. Uh, we try to, but we get a critical hit, so, uh, you know, that's a nice effort for us, but that's neither here nor there for the special attack drop, but the crit was there. That's, that's pretty cool. I wanted to see if he has Moonlight, so now I can go for a Calm Mind, as he does go for Moonlight. Once I set up a few Calm Minds, we're going to do some major work, so we get a special attack and a special defense boost. That's very awesome. He has no other choice, but he can he can just stay in or he can switch out. That's Those are his only options there. So he does switch out and he goes into a Moongus, which I, I guess I, I wasn't expecting, but either way, I have Psychic as a coverage move just for Amundus. We do lower his special attack, but again, Psychic is going to finish him off regardless. So that's the first Pokemon down by Rosa here. So Rosa, you're going to do the, 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 the powers inside of you. It's going to be great. Uh, Talonflame comes in, and I know that Talonflame's Brave Bird is not going to kill me because of Rosa's max HP investment with the Stealth Ops up. He's going to be taking that and then the recoil and then I will take him out with a Psychic. Very well done! That's two Pokemon down by Rosa. Now he goes into Ogino and I know that that's his Mega for this fight. So we see him Mega evolve. Um, for some reason he, he opts to use like Ice Beam and Flamethrower against my Forges, which I do question. Um, I think he was trying to fish for like a status condition or something. I go for another Moonblast, because why not? We're at plus one. Uh, we can hopefully take him out in two more turns, or one more turn, actually. Uh, yeah, so he shows me Ice Beam and Flamethrower. Not doing any damage, so we're gonna go with a Wish and uh, he wants to switch out again, that's fine. Uh, he goes into a Loma Mola. Uh, I think he was predicting me to protect, but I'm just gonna go for our Moonblast. And we're actually able to take out a Loma Mola. So, there you go. That's three Pokemon down. Only because Forges has the willpower, has the, 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 the blooming power to destroy many Pokemon. Whatever that means. But that's neither here nor there. Cresselia cannot do anything to Forges. 
um, we're going to set up another call mine. So now we're at plus two in special attack and special defense. At this rate, I think this is good game because, I mean, seriously, you cannot kill Forges by this stage of the match. If you get a critical hit, okay, you're trying, but really you're not going to do... Look, look at that, that did no damage, guys. Holy crap, Forges is good. If you all realize that Forges was a terrible Pokemon, think again, because, wow, Forges is doing some major work. So, um, we do lower Cresselia's special attack, which is hilarious because, like, yeah, that, that did no damage. So we're going to QHQ Cresselia, that's the fourth Pokemon that was taken down by Rosa. No more words, just no more words. This fight is pretty much over. His last Pokemon is Mega Ogino, and I was looking at my Pokemon, I'm like, well, Primeape hasn't shown, hasn't been shown yet in this fight, so we're going to give him a little bit of playtime. We're going to go for Wish and then pass it along to my Smash Toria, the Primeape, whose choice scarf and it has Gunk Shot. So this fight's over. We win this fight 6-0. Yeah. First time in history, folks. Isaiah, you owe me a much better match, uh, just saying, because going 6-0 like that in a league battle, oh my god. Uh, Alright, well that's it for now, guys. If y'all enjoyed this awesome match, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Be on the lookout for Week 10 versus Nakosivo. Alright, see you later, Pokemon trainers.